What's going on everybody? My name is Jeremy and welcome back to my channel Happiness Travels. In today's video, I'm going to show you one possible way that you can install a house window air conditioner in a travel trailer. A lot of these older travel trailers, um, they don't have enough support on the roof to support a rooftop air conditioner. So a very popular thing with the old vintage trailers is trying to figure out putting a small house unit inside. So I'm not going to be coming out the boxes or anything like that. It's going to go under the bed and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, well there it is. That's how you put an AC underneath your bed. All right, thanks for watching. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so I already went ahead and pulled out her bed that's back here. Um, unscrewed a couple of the boards, the cross members that go across and got her AC that she ordered and just kind of set it there to see how it's gonna fit in here and what all I need to do. So, game plan is, this is gonna be centered here in the middle. But the trickiest part on putting one of these in a trailer is you have to have good venting. So, I went online, looked to see how these things vent. They need to be able to bring air on the side top side exhaust out the back so what I have to do is we're gonna cut some holes down in here I'm gonna build like some wings that go down on both sides cross the top and then one on the back as well so the exhaust can go and then I got a pretty cool trick for keeping that sealed for while it's raining so stay tuned okay so the first thing I did is I went ahead and cut these two by twos Put them down there on the floor that way the air conditioner can't move around but i also made them the same width of what i need because i have to have like to make these little wing ducts off the side here off each side for it to vent and off the back um, so now i can go ahead and put my plywood right up to each side of those on both sides um, so that should work out pretty well so i put these guys in here just to show you guys give you an idea of what i'm doing these are just some vents for like your foundation on your house I got. That's a full one there I haven't cut and it's going to work out perfect for back here. I trimmed these ones down, these two other ones to fit. But this gives you an idea what I'm going to do where those are. I'm going to be cutting holes in the floor for the venting. And then I'm going to run some like wings I guess you could call them. Down here for venting and then off the back down to here and then off the side. That way the air can circulate and do all the venting that it needs to do. All right, well, I got the first one done here. I went ahead and screwed that board back on just so you could see how it goes over the edge here. That's the lip I cut that's nice and flush. And then I'll go ahead and screw this down as well. But. That just gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. There's the, the beam going through there for the support of the floor. I'm not going to mess with that. That's fine. All right, I got that all cut. Was able to get through with the sawzall and get right down through there. So now I'll go ahead and do the same for the back one and the other side over here. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do for sealing underneath. Well, there we go. Got all three holes cut. Now I got to go outside and deal with underneath. All right, real quick before we go outside, I wanted to show you what I ended up doing here. I ended up using some Gorilla Tape, and I put around the holes here just to kind of seal in between the two pieces of wood. Um, then I'll take you outside and I'll show you underneath what I did. And I didn't really video that. I took a picture I'll show you here. Um, but I made this little frame underneath um, to kind of sandwich in between the bottom of the trailer and the supports, the, these cross supports here that you can see in each hole. Those are the supports that run all the way down the trailer. Um, and anyways, uh, part of the problem with this trailer is underneath, the floor underneath is sagging down. And that's one of the things that I'm fixing while I'm in here. But to do the air conditioner, I had to go ahead and take care of that right now. So I didn't video that because it just that's specific to this trailer. Um, but I will show you what I did. It might be something you can use on another project you got. Or if you have a saggy floor on the bottom, um, you can do something similar. But just wanted to show you the black tape, the Gorilla Tape that I used. And then underneath, I'll show you the little frame I have. And then I put some flooring on it. Not flooring, but the underneath um, that comes on new trailers. It's kind of like a tarp material. And it goes underneath and it's glued to that. So let's go on and I'll show you that right now. All right, so down here under the trailer, you can see... 
this, this tarpy stuff. It's not done yet. I have it glued to the this here. Um, but I made this frame that goes all the way around and it just matches up with the cross beams that are here, here, and then the rest is plywood. Because I need something solid to go to and to glue this to because the rest of the floor, I'm gonna be fixing all of it and putting that covering on everything and it's gonna lead up and wrap into here. And then I have this cool door thing that I'm doing here for when the air conditioner is on that it lowers down. So, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but this is the little um, frame thing I made here and then put that material on. I need to do this first before anything else because I had to wrap this with the undercoating here, but then I had to fold it up into these holes as well. Um, so anyways, that's why I wanted to get that. But again, this is specific kind of to this trailer because it had issues down here. The whole bottom here was just sagging down. So I just made this frame to kind of cinch it up together. Um, so when I screwed everything together, just sucked it all up nice and tight, nice and flat, nice and secure. And this will actually work really well for my little trap door that I'm gonna have on here that's gonna lower when you turn the air conditioner on. So that is that. So I'm not sure what happened here, but this clip has no audio, but I'm basically just showing you what it looks like with the screen mesh here on top. And then I'm also showing you right here, I had to mark this and cut this because this is where the air flows out. And this top board right here was kind of in the way. So I marked it, cut it, it's all good now. All right, so I got that piece cut out here. As you can see, I gotta clean this edge up a little bit, but I was able to get that cut. That way the air is actually gonna come out where it's supposed to. I got my little block screwed in down here on front and back. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get some measurements and make the little ducting wings. I say wings, but I'm gonna make some covers that go from here down at an angle down to here. And then they'll have sides on them as well. That way it's sucking air from the outside like it's supposed to, not from inside the trailer. And then I have the exhaust back here that's gonna blow out where all the heat's gonna go because again, you don't want that in the trailer either. So I'm gonna start working on that. All right, I got one of the little wings, air duct, whatever you wanna call it, made up. Um, this guy here. So I just wanted to, before I made all of them, I wanted to make one, make sure it's all good, gonna fit good. Um, so this goes on here just like this. It is gonna be sealed up around so there's no air leaking. Um, but this is what we're doing, we're making these little wings. There'll be one for back here and then one on this side as well. And then the cool part underneath the trap door that I'm uh, working on and making it so it'll raise and lower when she uses this thing. So. Anyways, that's what the uh, wing looks like. I'll go ahead and make up the other ones and get them all ready. All right, so I was just drilling the hole for the drain vent right here, um, sticking the hose up. I'll go inside and show you. I went ahead and cut a hole. Um, and I'll show you that whole little drain system that I put in. Let's go inside real quick. So before I finish making all the little wings for the ducting and stuff, I almost forgot that I had to do the drain here. So I got the little drain spout thing here on the air conditioner and um, I went ahead and cut this hole so I can run this tubing, that one you just saw me drill, bring in from underneath. This is gonna attach onto over here on this guy. Now normally you could probably just drill a hole straight down wherever it's at and come out. But since I'm gonna have this door system under there that hinges and moves, I need to bring it back. So I just cut the hole here where it's gonna be on here. And then you guys saw me drill that hole underneath, run the hose up and here it is. And I'll attach it to there and we'll be good to go. All right, well this is what I came up with here. Um, I got the wing on this side and I just came across the top here so that way everything can vent This will go and there'll be a seal on here right across here across the top So this will all be sealed same with this one and the same with the back one as well when I finally Finish putting it all in a hundred percent But yeah, this is what I came up with to go across the top and to do this side So now it'll air air can get on the top here um, and it'll be perfect and I still have clearance for what I needed to for the bed and stuff right here. So we are still looking good So that's what I've got so far I'm gonna go ahead and make the back one now and then uh, Get some weather stripping and kind of get this thing all buttoned up and sealed up and good to go 
All right, well, it is not finished, but I've got all the pieces made here. So now it will be blowing the exhaust air out, the hot air, um, and then all the air that it needs just to circulate that's supposed to be outside your window, outside your house. Now that's also going to be in the fresh air as well, and it's not going to be putting any heat back in the trailer. So I'm going to go ahead, i got to go to the hardware store and get the weather stripping to put around it. Cause it's all going to be weather stripping so it's all nice and sealed when it's bolted down all right so now that i got my the little wing ducting things if you can see up through the screen here those wood little ducts i made from the air conditioner up top this is where they're coming out down here um, this is for like the fresh air going around both sides and this is the exhaust port out the back where the heat's going to come out so what i'm going to do now is i'm making a door uh, or a cover here that's going to be on a hinge and fold down and go up and seal this because obviously you wouldn't want this open you know if you're driving down the road and it's rainy season water is just going to be pouring up there so anyways I'm making a cool little like lid gate thing that folds down um, and I'll show you up top what I'm using to make that happen but right now I'm going to measure this guy right here and I'll show you what I'm going to use to make that uh, lid so this is the metal I'm going to use here. It's actually a shelf out of an old store fixture that I had. Um, but it's good gauge and I'm going to use some one by one uh, square tube as a frame to weld to it. Um, and then I'll attach my mounting points. So this is what I got here. This is actually a uh, spare tire that goes under the truck. This is like the hoist that lifts it up and down. So this part's going to be mounted inside the trailer. This is going to go to a bracket I'm going to make. And then it's just going to be able to, with the rod that goes in here and a drill or the hand thing, you'll be able to raise and lower this lid underneath. All right, I got the little hatch door thing here pretty much done up. I got everything all welded on. This is the cable system. It's actually, this is gonna go up and through the floor and attach to the, uh, that tire drop down mechanism I bought. This is gonna go up to a plate. If you picture it inside of the trailer, there's gonna be a plate and that jack thing's gonna come down to and be welded to that. And that plate is gonna hold these cables. And then as you lower it, this is gonna allow the this to lower down and come back up and then there'll be a seal around it too so it's nice and waterproof okay here's a look in the cabinet here from the side you can see the rod i got here uh, this solid bar oh, let me get the camera over here you can see this here i'm making a bracket that goes up there and a bolt um, that way they can this is what's going to turn it you can see the the little dealy bob whatever it's called that lowers the uh tire you can see that bar I made in there. Can you see good? You can see better now? You can see that bar that I made with the cable, and then the cable's coming up through the bottom. It works good. I'm not finished here. I have to go ahead and make brackets and hold up that the, the cable lift better. It's just kind of sitting there in one screw. I just wanted to make sure everything was good, but it's good. And you can see under here, the ramp coming down. Yeah, that is going to work good. All right, well here is the AC installed underneath the bed. So the AC is in, I got the wing ducts on there that you guys saw. Back here, this is where I got, this is the uh, spare tire um, cable hoist that goes underneath the truck. I ordered one of those and mounted it up here and then made the rod and then you can use a drill just like when you're using the the jacks that she has on these trailers it uses the same size socket and she can use that on this guy right there and it'll lower it let's go outside and i'll show you underneath here's a look from the side I ran and put her an outlet back here for the ac because the wiring in the trailer is really really light duty so i ran her a whole other separate line just for the ac you can see from the angle here and then watch this see the cable thing back there and when you do that 
lowers this guy back here. And then when you want to bring it up, there you go. There it is, little custom install on this 1967 Shasta for another member of Sisters on the Fly. Now this is just one way that you can install it. I'm sure there is many other ways you can. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Thank you.